Every morning I go for a walk and usually I just end up daydreaming. And the daydream I had this week was, what if I could find a story, one story, and share it on YouTube? So this is how it worked out. Hello, I'm Neil by the way. I'm a development producer helping high achieving creators and performers just like you to get ideas out of your head and out onto here on YouTube. And this is my attempt this week to get some ideas out of my head. On Saturday, I saw this clip and it had a really big effect on me. A really uncontrollably angry pack of bananas. Snow White and Sam Dawes. Sorry, no, it was the wild bunch. <laughs> Not that one. It was this clip of Chris Rock on the Howard Stern show talking about how he was bullied at school and then he bumped into one of his bullies who was working as a security guard on his movie set. A guy who literally one day turned me upside down and shook the money out of my pockets. And I'm filming a scene and I look and I'm like, is that B? And he, he nodded. You know, he was kind of ashamed. And I just gave him just a quick look like, hey man, I hope you're doing well. You take care. And I kept it moving. I didn't like, get him off the set. His sin has punished him. He could have been my friend. The fact that he had to go through that whole day and watch me walk around and watch me, I was directing a movie and, and to be so close to me, but yet so far. So you ever watch Bugs Bunny? When did Elma Fudd get really mad at Bugs Bunny? Not when he shot him in the face with an anvil. You know when Elma Fudd got really mad? When Bugs Bunny kissed him. That's when he would lose his mind. And when somebody like does you wrong, just give him a kiss. Just give him a kiss. Shall I tell you my Chris Rock story? The, the story where I booked, I actually booked Chris Rock for a TV show that I was producing and then I debooked him, I unbooked him. I, I don't know what the right word is. I uninvited him from the TV show. It's a short story and it hasn't got a happy ending. Uh, or maybe it does, I don't know, see what you think. But anyway, back in 2001, I was a producer, I, here's footage of me, on a comedy interview series. It was shot on location, outdoors, mainly in the United States, really big, high profile names. The, the show was tiny, but we had this amazing guest booker, this American guest booker in the States who was just getting us these ridiculous Hollywood names. This is me and Jean-Claude Van Damme. He was getting about ten, fifteen thousand dollars per guest that he booked. But man, I don't know. Well, I do know <laughs> some of the things that he did to to get us these guests. Uh, so he really put himself on the line and, and really came up with the goods. Anyway, I get a call from this amazing guest booker, and he says, "Neil, I think I've got Chris Rock. Do you want Chris Rock on your show?" and uh, yes, yes. He said, "You sure?" Because I need to know now because I need to I need to make the arrangements with the publicist. I think it was for us to do something really cool, like ride along with him in a limo to the Grammys or something. But whatever it was, it was a good chunk of time, enough to shoot this one-hour comedy interview show with Chris Rock. So I said, "Yes, yes, please. That's fantastic. Nice one." So he goes off and, and makes the arrangements with. Chris Rock's people and because he's in the United States and we're here in the UK I couldn't tell the channel the TV channel that this program was for I couldn't tell them until the next morning so the next morning I send an email saying we've got Chris Rock and I got a reply which was eh, no I don't think so he's not for us and I'm <laughs> So now there's a, a to and fro of emails and I think it went something along the lines of but it's Chris Rock. And the reply was, yeah, but he's not really, he's not really our audience. We're toing and froing, and basically they don't want Chris Rock. But, but I've, but I've booked him. <laughs> Shall I tell you which TV channel this is? I'll put it in the comments so that I can delete it because I'm a wuss and they can still hunt me down like a dog. They would not budge. They did not want Chris Rock as a guest on this program. And to give you an idea of how big Chris Rock was back then even, you know, this is footage of him interviewing Prince four years before we'd booked him. He's funny and famous. They just didn't want to know. So now I've got to go back to the guest booker and, and tell him that they don't want him. So I'm shaking while I'm telling you this story, not because I'm angry, uh, maybe I should be, but 
because I'm embarrassed. I was really embarrassed that this guy had really gone out on a limb and yet they didn't want him. And I, I remember the tone of the voice of the guest booker. I mean, he was bewildered and, and offered to send them tapes, which, uh, but I had to explain that they just did not want to budge. It's, it's not for us. I don't think it's our audience. <laughs> so then I had to unbook Chris Rock. I had to, I think I blamed it on logistics and not being able to get a camera crew out for the date that they had suggested. But man, that was horrible. And it made me think, well, maybe I'm doing this job wrong. I felt bad that I couldn't persuade someone that this was a good idea. This was a fantastic idea. This would have been a fantastic booking for the show. And I'm probably embarrassed because I'm sure I've done the same thing to other people over the years. On the upside, this is why I love YouTube. What I love about this, about you and me making things on YouTube is that we do not have to ask permission from anyone to have a go at making something that we think is good. We can make stuff, we can make whatever we like without having to ask permission from anybody. And I absolutely love this. So Chris Rock is absolutely right. And when somebody like does you wrong, just give them a kiss. I'm gonna leave you with some footage of some baby rats to cheer me up. <laughs> Look, there they are. Do you have a story? Do you have a story from the last 24 hours? Please put it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Or even better, make a video about it and post the link in the comments below. If you've reached this point of the video, why not give me a thumbs up? That would be really helpful. Or even hit the subscribe button. And on screen now is what YouTube thinks you should be watching next.